Look, it's Pastor Keith, and it is morning prayer for Tuesday, September 17th. Oy, wow, just just flies. September 17th, 2024, and I am coming to you from the campus of Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii in the middle of the big wide Pacific Ocean. So glad you're here, and uh, it's uh, looking to be a full week. So let's get at it. This is from Colossians, the third chapter, which talks about new life in Christ. And Colossians was was a Pauline letter. We suspect it was not written by Paul, but maybe one of the disciples of Paul. Uh, probably one of the ones we're pretty sure of, because it seems to have a... Uh, a more developed theology uh, around it that uh, was uh, came over time. And so uh, Colossians is written to the people in Colossae, which is in Greece. And uh, here it is again, new life in Christ. So uh, the writer says, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of the Creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, and and free. But Christ is all and in all. That's one of the themes of uh, Colossians, that put on the new Christ and get rid of everything else. There's some... uh, in this, there's some uh, sense that maybe he borrowed some language from Greek philosophy, Greek ethics, whoever the writer is, and that's why uh, we think it wasn't necessarily Paul. But he has some good points right here, right? Uh, seek the things that are above. And we mean, like Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. Seek the things that are high, not the things that are low. Seek the the things that uh, point to Christ, not to death, right? And uh, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, greed. Huh. Greed. The thing that drives capitalism. Wow. Okay. Those are the things that we need to be aware of. Just keep that in mind. I, uh, I like Colossians. It's pretty good. Let's do the uh, prayer of St. Anselm, who lived from 1033 to 1109 and came up with the Anselmic theory of atonement. Uh, Anselm of Canterbury was the uh, Archbishop of of Great Britain at the time, and um, the Anselmic theory of atonement was uh, really kind of a bookkeeping sort of theory that Jesus had to pay off the devil uh, our our accounts for all of our sins. And while there's some of that language in the scripture, uh, we also, uh, uh, you know, got a classic, but we also say it's not just uh, uh, a bookkeeping thing that Jesus did at, at the cross, but he died because of passionate love for us and that that is what redeems us, the passionate love. Anyways, Anselm was a pretty good guy, even if he had that theory, uh, and I like this prayer. So, join me. O Lord our God, 
Grant us grace to desire you with our whole heart, so that desiring we may seek and find you, and so finding you, we may love you, and loving you, we may hate those sins from which you have redeemed us. For the sake of Jesus Christ, amen. So, my good friends from Colossae, yeah, I want you to go with God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. And may that God bless you, protect you, and keep you safe throughout the day. Amen.